This is how to code a ticket system for your discord.js bot. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to be using the slash command package for this video. So you can use whatever you want, whatever handler you want. It's pretty simple. Um, but I'm just going to go into moderation and create ticket.js just like that. It's not the top of the file. We're just going to define slash command builder because I am using slash commands for this video. So you can do const slash command builder equals require. In here, we can do at discord js slash builders we can add a semicolon here then we can do const and in here we're going to put a lot of stuff so we can do embed builder action row builder button builder button style channel type button interaction and then permissions bit field and then we're going to go ahead and require discord.js just like that. All right, so now we can go ahead and do module.exports equals, and then we can do data new slash command builder. We can do dot set name ticket. We can do dot set description. Use this command to create a ticket message. Just like that. We can add a comma here, and we can do async execute interaction client we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to define permissions because we don't want some random member um, making a ticket um, or what well, we do but we don't want them to be able to create the actual ticket message where you click the button and stuff so we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has permissions a bit field dot flags and then we can do dot administrator and we can return await interaction dot reply. We can say content. You must be an administrator to create a ticket message. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and actually create the button and the embed. So you can do const to button equals new action row builder. We can go down here and we can do add components. And then we can go ahead and open this up new button builder um, and then we can do set custom id button we can do set emoji and here you're going to put the emoji that you want the um, button to have so for me because it's a ticket command i'm going to copy and paste the mailbox emoji or like a piece of mail in there uh, so then we can do dot set label and in here we're going to put create ticket just like that and we can go ahead and do set style and we're going to do button style dot secondary um, and then we can go ahead and add a comma here and now we're done with the button so now we can go ahead and create the embed so you do const embed equals new embed builder just like this and we can do set color blue set title we are going to use the title for this video tickets and support um, and then we can do set description in here we can say click the button below to talk to staff we can do like create a ticket um, and then we can actually go ahead and send this message so we can do await interaction dot reply we can do content actually wait no we'll just do embeds and then put in our embed and then we can do a comma after the comma we can do components just like this and we can do button so we're going to add that button there we're going to go ahead and put a semicolon here all right after that what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go down here and we're going to create a new collector so you do const collector equals await interaction dot channel dot create uh, channel dot create message component collector just like that we can add a semicolon we can go down here we can do collector dot on and then in here, we're going to do collect, comma, async, i, and then we can do an arrow function, just like this, open this up. In here, we're going to go ahead and edit the message to be the exact same as it was before. This is going to prevent it from saying interaction failed. Um, so we're going to do await i.update. Um, and then in here, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy the same stuff from this message, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and paste it in there. Uh, then we can add a semicolon 
Now we're going to go ahead and actually create a channel, or the ticket channel pretty much. So we can do const channel equals await interaction dot guild dot channels dot create. We can go ahead and open this up. We can say name. This is going to be the name of the ticket. So we can do uh, ticket and then we can say i dot user dot tag. Um, and then we can go ahead and put a comma here. We can do type. We can do uh, channel type dot guild text. So it's going to be text channel. Then we can do parent. And here we're going to put the ID of the category we want the channel to be in. Uh, so for me, it's going to be tickets. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. Now keep in mind, I'm going to set this up so it's going to create permissions for you. So you can just leave all this blank. But yeah, copy the ID of the, the category and paste it into the parent section. Um, we're going to add a semicolon here. All right, so now we can do channel dot permission overwrites dot create, and then we can do i dot user dot id comma, and then we can do view channel true. We can do send messages true, just like that, and then we can go ahead and put uh, the semicolon there. So what this did is it basically edited the permissions to allow the user that clicked the button to see the channel. So now we have to make it so everyone else cannot see the channel. So we can do channel dot permission overwrites dot create. And we can do channel dot guild dot roles dot everyone. And we can do view channel. We're gonna set this to false. And we can do send messages false as well. We can add a semicolon. We can go down here and actually uh, send the message in the channel. So we can do channel send content. And here we can do uh, welcome to your ticket, comma, I dot user. And then we can put a period there. When you are finished here, have an admin delete the channel. Something simple like that. We can put a semicolon here. We can go do I dot user dot send your ticket within i dot guild dot name has been created we can do you can view it in channel and then put a period and we can go ahead and put a semicolon there with that we are done with the ticket command uh, so we're going to go ahead and restart the bot and test this out now that the bot is online we can try to do our ticket command on the alt that has no perms uh, just to make sure that the permission check is working as you can see it will say you must be an administrator to create a ticket message so now we're going to go into the account that actually has perms um this one doesn't and we can actually go ahead and create the ticket message so you need ticket as you can see it's going to say tickets and supports and then click the button to create a ticket so what you could do is go into the tickets category and then say create a ticket or something like that and then just do tickets in here then we can go ahead and actually create a ticket. And so it's going to open up a ticket that says my name and then it's going to ping me in it. So, you know, it's mine. Um, and then it's going to also DM me with uh, the ticket and all that stuff. If we go into here uh, in the permissions, we're going to see that everyone cannot view the channel and they cannot send messages, but I can view the channel and I can send messages. So in the category, what you can do is you can allow like ticket helper role or whatever to view the channels and then just... Uh, do that um, or you could just give the ticket helper role admin whatever you want to do um, it's completely customizable one more thing we can do is we can actually go to create a ticket in here and we can actually go ahead and try it again just to make sure that it still works and as you can see it's going to create the ticket ping me and send me a dm as well um, we could go in here and you can create as many tickets as you want the bot will not stop um, and the message will continue to work keep in mind if you turn the bot off um, and then you try to do it, uh, it will not work. Now, if you turn the bot back on um, after you turned it back off, it's still not gonna work. So just keep that in mind. If your bot crashes, you might need to send a new ticket message, um, or I guess you would have to send it on this account, but uh, you are gonna have to send a new message uh, if your ticket bot does crash or anything like that. Um, but yeah, if this worked for you, leave a like and subscribe. If it didn't, go ahead and join the help server in the description below, and I will be able to help you out along with some other moderators. Um, and with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.